the ability of the hotline to provide catharsis for people, and by that I mean the process of releasing and therefore providing relief from strong, upsetting feelings and emotions by just talking is a simple but extremely important way of helping upset and troubled persons to feel better quickly. For those persons in a crisis who feel out of control, who see no way forward in their lives without unhappiness and despair, and indeed those who are contemplating harming themselves or ending their own lives, the reaching out and connection to the hotline may ultimately, as we just heard, save a life or lives. The hotline has special characteristics that make it ideal for persons seeking help. Those individuals who are shy and uncomfortable with face-to-face -face interactions of any kind, those who feel that health care workers in our facilities will judge them based on where they live or what strata of society they come from, those who worry that if they are seen by members of the public going into buildings where mental health services are being offered, that they will be socially scorned, and those who feel stigmatized and marginalized as members of a minority group, for example, related to gender or sexual preference or religion, who therefore avoid traditional counseling services. The hotline offers a confidential and anonymous service for people to reach out who have mental health concerns of any kind. People who work and have challenges taking an off day and missing a day's pay and seeking mental health advice can take advantage of the after-hours services that the hotline provides. Those who have to share the use of a telephone during the day or can only call at certain times where, when they can have a private conversation because of the number of people who live in the house can also benefit from that after-normal working hours service. For those who can't sleep in the dark, scary quiet of the night, where feelings of loneliness and disturbing thoughts and images come to life, the hotline is available and responsive when other helping agencies may not be. The hotline can and does provide information as regards both mental health and social resources in the community for individuals who need this information for themselves and for those persons who care for, look after, look out for, parent, supervise, or who are otherwise in guardianship of other people who may need such help and assistance, but who cannot or will not seek out such help and assistance for themselves.